hello so day in the life kind of crazy um of an unemployed 25 year old black girl in new orleans probably about to get evicted okay so he <laughs> he Because this little girl, as you can see, she got a flea and she had an infestation like a while ago and it got bad as far as like being around my house and my bed and my couch. So I'm like, not today. I found one um, and everything got to be clean. But now I'm making a struggle meal. I am making tuna. Yeah. I have no lighting over here, but uh, yeah, this is the best I could do. Mixing everything up. Oh my God, I made this too, oh my God. I made this too fucking loose. I think I put too much mayonnaise and pickle juice. Look at this. It's fucking loose, bro. It's not supposed to be this loose. I don't know what to do. Like, yeah, I don't really have no more freaking food. Look at my fridge. This is just fries and bread. My mama left this. I don't even know how old that is. You know, black households don't throw away food. So I don't know. Um, pears out of can. Fucking boxed fucking almond milk from fucking Dollar Tree. I don't know what this is. My mom came over trying to help, but like, she really does try to help, but she be giving me food that's like damn near expired, um, you know, from her and my grandma house, which I appreciate. Very thankful, because I can't, you know, I don't have nothing on my own, but my stomach is sensitive. I don't want to compromise my health for hunger and need, you know? I'm gonna just have to eat soggy tuna right now. Long story short, my freaking company that I work for, my freaking ad agency, randomly, like a month ago, was like, your position is terminated, today is your last day. Like, they didn't fire me. Like, the, my whole position in the company just don't exist anymore because they're fucking broke. Um, and they want they want to nobody. And the way they handled it was very, very disrespectful and fucking hard for me. Like, I don't want to get into it, but um, yeah, that happened. And I can't find another job with my degree because the job market is trash. And um, it's just hard trying to find positions my level. I, I'm in New Orleans, I want to move to New York. They only hire people in New York for positions based in New York. There's barely any remote jobs anymore. My last position was remote. And I feel like that had an aspect to it too. Cause they fired somebody else. Well not fired, terminated the position of somebody else and they were remote too in another place. So it's just like, let me find out y'all really trying to just eradicate the whole remote agenda. Like for what? Like we've seen that society can work remote you know what i'm saying for most jobs for this job in this industry particularly so yeah so i think i'm gonna first let me start putting this stuff back so here's some cleaning content that's not really great cleaning content but um yeah i think i'm gonna start <laughs> this go down Okay, um, they had a temporary beauty advisor position open at Sephora near me. Um, I'm gonna try to do that because I was a beauty advisor at Walgreens for a while, and which is basically like the drugstore version of a beauty advisor at Sephora or Ulta. Um, and also, as you see from my channel and from my content from you know social media and TikTok, I do makeup pretty skilled at it i know what i'm talking about so hopefully i get that 
I don't know how long it's gonna be until I get my next like for real, for real gig, you know, um, or whatever this social media shit pop off. So that's where I'm at right now. Bills are passed too. Rent is coming up. Don't know what to do. I have like a little bit of money left for rent, but it's not the whole thing. And that's literally all my money I have left. It's gonna contribute. Ah, that was wet. All my money's gonna contribute to it. If you go to my first video on my page, you'll see like this is a very similar situation I was in. And it makes me sad because it feels like I didn't I didn't really make any progress. I mean I did. I've definitely grown. I've had more life experiences and jobs since. Um I actually got to be what I wanted to be as far as my degree. I got to be an advertising strategist. But um it was just short lived. It's just, you know, it just feels like take one step forward and three steps back, you know. Like can a bitch get a break? Like bitch, the government's supposed to be shut down and whatnot. Housing crisis. Everything is just crazy. And like why during my twenties, why during my lifetime I gotta go through this? Like it's so I don't even have words to describe it. Just ah ah just dramatic groan. That's that's how it feels. That's how it feels, you know. On a lighter note, I just left Renaissance. I didn't just leave. It was like the day before yesterday. Finally had our Renaissance tour day. It was great. It was honestly great. I needed that. Um, it was a great distraction. They trying to break my soul, girl. The soul is being broken. I'm so crazy at concerts, bro. I'm just screaming. Like, I like to compete, like, Oh, the artists think they're gonna be the loudest one in the room? Nope. I'm gonna show you I know your shit better than you. <laughs> yeah, but no, it's just fun. I just get to let loose. I told people in my section, like, I'm finna be insufferable, just letting you know. But I wasn't that bad. I don't think there's there's worse people. I don't think I was that bad. So I'ma just have to I would normally eat on the couch, but you this little girl. Oh yeah, this is clothes I'm gonna sell on Depop or at least attempting to. I have some up there, I'll link it. Okay, we're in my room. Um, gonna eat my little tuna toast. I don't like the ends of the bread. I never have, never will. I'm sorry for talking with my mouth full. <laughs> um, it's like four or something now. Woke up at like three, cause I didn't go to sleep to like 5 a.m. insomnia, like it's really bad. I don't know about y'all, but if I'm unmotivated, I don't have a job, I don't have a car, I don't have money, where am I going? What am I getting up for? You know? Do I want to live like that? No, I thrive off a of routine, but it's hard to find motivation for a routine when you don't have anything to have a make a routine out of, you know? Hmm. It's a pretty day outside, though. That still gives me hope because seasonal depression is real for me. And I guess I have global warming to think that it's not that bad yet outside. Which is, you know, sad within itself. But yeah, they got freaking... They've been having festivals. Last week they had Beignet Festival. This weekend is uh, Fried Chicken Fest. And I love festivals. I love going out, you know, doing stuff. Like I want to experience more things. It's hard to do when you don't have money. So that's the sad part. I just be wanting to get out the house. What do I do? So I just wanted to make this video cause I've been trying to get back on YouTube. The reason why I left YouTube, I don't have no camera. This is on my phone. Last The last time I only had my phone too. And um, I didn't really know about storage and like 
uploading everything so i filmed this video edited it was great i was editing on like iMovie it would not upload and i went through all this trying to upload it and it just wouldn't and i just felt like i was so frustrated i did all this effort made this really cute makeup look um went through all the things and editing takes long when upload i was like you know what forget this like I don't know if you understand if you're not a content creator or used to editing videos, but if you have a up if you have all this time that you committed to a look filming and editing and you get to the final step to release it and it doesn't release, that shit is frustrating. Um and it was just like the straw on the, the what is what's the saying? The straw the last straw on the camel's back something like that whatever it was it was the the last straw the last where i get a camera from they got one with a camel anyways yeah so it's been like what two years now <laughs> and i'm back um i've been trying to focus on tiktok more recently but um tiktok likes to limit my views and i've noticed like i know another creator she said the same thing I looked on Reddit. They got people who saying the same thing too. And me being thankful that I'm like versatile and can switch up my different types of content, I've experimented to see, you know, what videos got more views. They all stayed around the same, like 200 something. And I'm just like, TikTok, if you have an agenda, just say it, you know? Cause that's what it's giving. Like, it's really discouraging. Like, I'll build up some followers and then I'll lose, like, four or eight followers in one night. Like, overnight, literally, and wake up and, like, it's like, what, what are you trying to do? What, and I know what it is. But it's like, why? And it's, it's so hard. Like, trying to make it as a content creator is hard. Like, during the, like, post-boom of content creators, like... I've been wanting to do this since like 2018 um but the boom already was like you know the mid to um late 2010s already so um and i was i was in like high school about to go to college you know so trying to make it in a market that's already saturated is hard especially knowing that this is what you want to do i feel like there's so many people out there that have you know started putting videos out there just for fun um and then they make it and they're like oh like this was never my intention and not to get me wrong like this is fun for me i love to do this i would not be busting my ass doing this if can you move please thank you um i wouldn't be trying to dedicate you know so much time and years and effort into this if i didn't really love it what i'm saying is i know what i want I know what I'm trying to get. Is it wrong to know that this is what I want to do, especially with content creation? Like, this is what I want to do. Like, it took me so long to figure out that this was what I wanted to do in the first place and figure out in what way, you know? I've always loved makeup. I've always loved, loved fashion since a child. Like, always, always, always loved playing in makeup and fashion. And I was always told I wanted to be a model. I knew I wanted to be a model at like six years old. Um, and people used to be like, oh, you're too big. Um, oh, like I used to have like blemishes all over my body. Um, and like, oh no, you would never make it. I wanted to be like a Disney, I wanted to be on Disney Channel so bad. I wanted to be an actor, an actress. And, um, I tried a talent agency here. She couldn't do nothing for me. Um, I tried... I wanted to be a singer and dancer. I was a dancer for 13 years, so that happened. Um, I wanted to be a singer. I never really got singing lessons. And my natural voice is, like, decent, but not great enough for me to be confident and, like, let people hear it. So I just feel like I went through so many things of what I wanted to do and let people tell me or just situations happen where... I just let it stop me into a point where I got into a period of like just surviving. And keep in mind, this is like when I was a teenager. Like school was always the forefront and school was always horrible for me. Like I hated school. Um, not that I wasn't good. Um, 
I just had undiagnosed ADHD. Like, not that I wasn't smart is what I'm saying. Like, I had undiagnosed ADHD and that really um, hindered me. Like, my mom, my only caregiver, got sick when I was really young and she was in and out the hospital and I was, I'm my only child, so I felt neglected. Why is my whole life sword coming out right now? <laughs> this was not where I intended to go with this. What What is the point that I'm making? Oh, the, the point that I'm making is that I feel like I was just surviving at one point and not really going for my goals and dreams and aspirations. And so once I realized and noticed the boom of like the YouTuber, makeup artist, like type thing, it took me a while to realize one, this is what I wanted to do. This is just something that just wasn't always an option. It just didn't become a thing to like, you know, mid 2010s so f having that go off the ground and realizing and then also um trying to figure out how to authentically be myself because i'm so reserved from in the past being bullied and like things you know being rough for me like being very like to myself re reserved and not letting people see the real me like having to like be vulnerable on camera you know like that's a big thing that's a big deal for someone who's usually always to themselves you know um so getting the confidence that's the word confidence to do that too um figure out what type of content you want to do and shaping that like yes i want to do beauty and fashion but like in what way you know like what is my niche like what is um you know what's the game plan so all that shit really took time and like I'm trying I've been struggling with like resenting and taking so much time but like you know your journey is your journey and your path is your path and if it's meant for you because I think it is meant for me like I was really thinking the other day like all the stuff that I got my degree in like advertising and just school and like the corporate world I can do it I'm good at it but it's not what makes me passionate. And I'm a very passionate person, especially as an Aries. Um, and fashion and beauty has always come easy to me. And I've realized that. And it's like, like you really were meant to do this. It comes so easy. It makes me feel happy. It makes me feel confident. And knowing like, this is something I know. Nobody can take this away from me because of my individuality and my creativity. So, um, yeah. So, yeah, with all that being said, I'm back on YouTube. Please like, follow, <laughs> subscribe. All that good stuff. I have my TikTok and my Instagram linked um, on my profile and in the description. And I'll and just welcome to the journey okay i'll keep you updated with my life um i'll try to make it interesting as possible i mean we're on the brink of like rock bottom so i feel like it's gonna be interesting because ain't nowhere up from here so yeah <laughs> stay along thank you also my name is rojane nice to meet you welcome to the team <laughs> if you decide to stay if you don't i understand but like stay because it'll be fun Okay, bye. Love you. Mm -hmm.